<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Country Rugby League Show. Paul Arundel, Jeff Stevenson back for uh, another one and, uh, well, it's final time, isn't it? Yeah, pointy end time. We're talking pointy ends uh, for the next few weeks. There's, yeah. there's some grand finals, semi-finals, preliminary finals, lots of stuff going on. It's been a... I know we've still got a few more weeks to go. It's been a strange old year, hasn't it, with yeah. the wet weather and, like, it seemed like a... For some competitions, it was never going to end, and then yeah. all of a sudden, bang, we're here. Yeah, and, and really a credit to a lot of the administrators and those people in clubs that have made a lot of this happen, because there were some comps you thought they would never get through the rounds, and I think most comps didn't. I think they mostly got through the rounds. They just yeah. had to play in other times of the week and that kind of thing. Yeah, they've mixed it around. I mean, I can only think of one game that never got played that was Western Lakes in the Newcastle comp. There's yeah. probably a few others out there. Maybe a couple up with the Northern Rivers uh, that just made it I, impossible, but still know, a there magnificent was, There was effort. flooding up there just yeah. before the con. I keep yeah. emphasising that, but also down Illawarra and stuff like yep. that. Illawarra seemed to miss like, uh, for like a month of footy yeah. in rain, so it's drizzling here at the moment, but you know, credit to those guys for making yeah. making this, getting to this point. Yeah, yep. yeah, well done. No, well done. <laughs> All right, let's get into, there was still some action over the weekend, highlights, we'll, uh, We'll go up north to the Northern Rivers Regional Rugby League. Now, um, it was the prelim final. Uh, Mwoolamba v Evans had Blamble's already in the grand final. And uh, here's the highlights here for you now. Mwoolamba were favourites. Yeah, were I was going to say, Evans had been giant killing up to this point, uh, like last week. So, uh, But, yeah, Mwoolamba were looking good. Yeah, um, two of the best were Roy Bell and um, Trevor Bolt for... <laughs> For Evans Head, um, scoring up the wrong end there with all the Mwillumba supporters. But yeah, Mwillumba out in straight sets. Um, yeah. They're not sure when the last time the minor premier bowed out in yeah, two weeks. So in two won. weeks, in the, in, yeah. the, in, the, in finals. And undefeated. From what I yeah. understand, undefeated. So they yeah. won every game right up until the semi-finals, which is... But also, on the other side, good on Evans Head. For the, the impression I get, I know all clubs are kind of similar in lots of ways, but they're a very small community, yeah. tight-knit most of the players in the comp in their team are juniors who stuck around or come back. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Evans said don't have any juniors in the area. They've got a, oh, a lot of the in. guys. Yeah, locals, so, I um, say. Yeah, yeah, and, and like, so that credit to the club just to even just have one senior team, yeah. but uh, three down there. So Yeah, well, fantastic. That's great stuff. So Evans Head, Balamble Grand Final uh, this Sunday on Bar TV Sports. Big so, one. I'll be watching yeah. it. I can't wait. And uh, we'll go to Canberra. It was uh, round 18, the final round before uh, their playoffs begin. And, um, well, Kangaroos, they put on a clinic against uh, Goulburn here. Uh, yeah. 54 to 14, I think the final score was the Roos. Yes, and Belconnen, it was a bit closer. 34-32, uh, Belconnen getting over Yes. So Belconnen, they were probably the big improvers of the uh, Canberra Rugby Yeah, they were minor premiers. Or West Belconnen. And Gungarland, the giant killers, they uh, knocked off Woden Valley last week. This week, they knock off Tuggeranong. Far out. Tuggeranong win, they're, they're minor premiers. So, yeah. um, good win. Gungarland wanted a couple of more months of the comp to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finding form. And the match of the round was West Bell Conan uh, against Quimbian Blues and the, the Warriors winning 26-10. Mm. So, a good win for West Bell Conan who... Uh, Pick up the uh, minor premiership. Minor premiership. With that yeah. Maybe kind of, I guess there's that uh, Queen, Queen Bin Roos uh, salary cap issue <laughs> that helped them get there, but they yeah. got there. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, uh, a cl- an amazing uh, final week in uh, Canberra Rugby it'll, League. It'll make it interesting now to all, it's like a, every comp at the moment. Once the semis final yeah. start, you reset. Yeah. And, you know, you only need to talk to them all in the bar about that. <laughs> I don't think I read out the result. 42-32, Gungahl and over Tungrenong. Yeah. And um, High it scoring. was 26-10, West Bell Connell over Queenbean Blues. Yeah, and a few teams there that had great promise throughout the year that have sort of faded, like Goulburn City, but, you know, yeah. they'll be back next year. Uh, we'll go to Group 7. It was the final round down there, and the Stingrays, in front of their uh, vocal home crowd, got a big win against Albion Park, 66-6. to Wow. Yeah. Um, Stingrays, a um, first time in the semis for a long, long time. Yeah. So uh, well done yeah. to form at the right time of the year, yeah. kind of thing. And uh, this was the try that uh, sealed the win for Milton Alladulla, fourteen ten over Nowra. And uh, I believe innocent. that I believe that win uh, avoided the wooden spoon. Yeah, I knew there was a bit of a spoon off happening um, in different games this week. Warilla hosted Shell Harbour and they got the good win, forty to sixteen. Mm. Um, just a mistake at the back, but uh, yeah, Warrillo, they're prime, ready to go for the semis this weekend. Yeah. And another team, Jamburu, 36-20 over Kaima. Uh, a lot of points scored in this game. 
And I love the ground at Kevin Walsh Oval. Yeah, Plenty of mud. It's beautiful. Brilliant. Great time. And it wasn't that rainy down there. I no. think so. <laughs> Captures the mud. And uh, Jerringong hosted uh, Berry Shellhaven Heads and uh, a big win for the Lions. The minor premiers 52-12 to 12 over Berry. They actually, I think that game secured the minor premiership and the wooden spoon in the same game, which yeah. is pretty rare as well, I reckon, as, yeah. a, as a kind of statistic. Yeah, poor old Berry there. First year back in Group 7 after just entering reserve grade the year before. So yeah. hopefully they can build and hopefully they can uh, attract a few of their juniors back, which other clubs poach. Yeah, and like, like first not year... Not mentioning any names. No, okay, I'm glad you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we don't want to get sued. Um, but yeah, first year back, I always think good on them getting a team yeah. together and being yeah. competitive. Anything more than that's a bonus. All right, we'll go to Newcastle. It was... Week one of the uh, the semi or the finals up there, and and Maitland just put on a clinic against Macquarie. Yeah, it's a uh, ten twelve minute period. Maitland landed three tries and just blew Macquarie off the park. And Macquarie, you know, they are quality team. Like this is obviously one of the best two teams in the comp yeah. at the moment. But wow. Yeah, so uh, Macquarie they've lost their halfback bait and sell for the rest of the campaign. Mm. Um, a leg injury. Uh, Carrot Holland, he hurt himself too, but he looks like he'll be right to go on the prelim this weekend. Yeah, so. yeah. And the other match on Sunday was Cessnock v Central, and um, Cessnock had a few out. And, uh, sorry, Central had a few out, and Cessnock come from behind and, uh, to pick mm. up the win. Josh Charles picked up a double, and uh, yeah, Cessnock winning 22-16 over the Butcher Boys. So the Butcher Boys can think about 2023. Is that, look, is that a bit of a thing with Central Charlestown? They tend to sort of fade in the finals a bit? Yeah, right now I can remember a, a playoff that might have been, geez, 219. They lost 60 to nil yeah. or something. So, I just um, feel like, yeah. I feel I feel sorry for their fans and supporters and stuff because, and, and even the people that run the place, yeah. like they seem to do so well and have so much promise and then just don't get there. Maybe it's the curse of... The Butchers. The Butchers. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Illawarra now, for real. Minor Premiers, also knocked out in straight sets. Jesus. Uh, Collie's winning here 24 12. But they did have a little bit of magic here, for real. You'll, you'll see this try very shortly. Look oh, that. wow. That's brilliant. So yeah. set up. You can't just. <laughs> the winger must have known something about that. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't think even he probably predicted how quickly it was going to fly towards him, but that was a great try. Yeah. And uh, this is the one that pretty much uh, sealed the fate for uh, Thoreau Collie's bagging the win. Mm. And they're uh, still celebrating, so they got a grand final. As the rain comes down hard here yeah. on the shed. Don't jinx it. We <laughs> need to get these semi finals <laughs> in. <laughs> right, Gold Coast, they got the semi finals underway too up there. And um, Southport hosted Runaway Bay, and, and the Tigers just absolutely flew out the blocks. I think they were leading 24 0 at one Jesus. stage. Jesus. Um, Runaway Bay scored a few consolation tries, but it was all mm. Southport 36 to 20. And yep. um, you can see a couple of tries here. Then on uh, Sunday, Chugan hosted Mudgery Bar, and this one was much closer. But the Seahawks, they uh, got the win in the end, and uh, the supporters in that corner. Well, what do you call it? Uh, opposite the airport there, yeah. down here, down this end here, they, <laughs> the, they're packed the, in there. The and, beach uh, end, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. But, yeah so uh, Chugan will play Runaway Bay, so that, that'll be a beauty. So we're sort of getting now to the pointy end. Sunny Coast, it was semi-finals up there. Uh, Biwa v Kabulcha. This one was uh, finished on a penalty goal, so it got the twenty all. Then uh, Biwa kicked the penalty goal to win twenty two twenty. Yeah. So, um, Amazing stuff. Biwa move into the prelim. And uh, here, Marucci Dor took on Kawana, and this is a real tight classic one here, but this front rower, he set up a couple of tries wow. for, for the Swans. Set them get, up. Here, Not here's, just... <laughs> here's another one. Jesus. Look at this offload here. Gets it away. Beautiful. You're just going to hang off him all yeah, day, aren't Yeah, you? exactly. Yeah. And and the defence really had to take him. He's yeah. a big fella. You can't just <laughs> waiting for the offload. Yeah, so uh, that's all the highlights from the uh, the weekend just gone. I said plenty of semi-final footy. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've, uh, that's the results. We might as well uh, head into around the groups. Yeah, around the groups. There's a bit of stuff going on because there are some, like I said, I could talk forever about all the grand finals around, yeah. but I'll focus on a couple. The Peter McDonald Premiership is finally concluding after, I think we talked in the shed about the birth of the Premiership, yeah. now we're here in the first season. Um, Forbes and Dubbo Sims have made the finals, so okay. Forbes knocked out Orange. They chased down uh, it's a 22-point lead. 
to, okay. to beat Orange Sims in the second that half. That would have been a good fun game to be at. Yeah, so um, Forbes are pretty pumped too. I don't like, I don't know where they fit in the scheme of things. I'm not saying that they're – it's hard to say a big club and a little club. Yeah. But yeah. it's definitely a community club and they're having – it will probably be too late for this because they're, they're having a jersey kind of reveal and stuff, big big shindig at the uh, Posty Hotel. Right. Uh, to, on Wednesday night yep. leading into it, but yep. it's a real community event. Yeah. They're selling merchandise there. If you want to go to the Posty Hotel and buy some Forbes Magpies merchandise, do it. I yeah. think this is a great time of year to buy that stuff, to get to the game and stuff. Being played at Apex Oval, yep. which sort of makes sense, I guess. Yes. Double, Double Sims is, it's, it's a good, a good oval, and yeah. they're, in the, they're in the final kind of thing. So, yeah, so in the end, I think it was two Group 11 clubs that made the grand final, and that... It's a bit of a moot point at the moment, you know. Like, like I think early on we're like, oh, I wonder how well they'll go against each other, but we're just down to it. It's going to happen. I mean, it'll be the same if um, the two Central Coast clubs play yeah. the Newcastle Rugby League Grand Final. Yeah, um, but it's. Yeah. I think like it, in the semis when there was one, two Group Ten, two Group Eleven yeah. teams. Like, that's probably a nice way to look yeah. at it. That the, 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 each group had a shot, and that's how it's worked out. Yeah. So, so that'll be great. That's on Sunday. Um, up at group uh, group four, isn't it? No, group Arara Valley, group three. A oh, group two. Group two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so many my different groups out of whack. I'm struggling <laughs> yeah. my groups. Uh, anyway, grand final, Arara Valley, full credit to them. Coach Burgess, I do take the mickey and all that kind of stuff, but yep. just forget the Coach Burgess thing. Arara Valley are back. Yep. First year back, they made the grand final. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, no heel, Sir Lord Burgess would attract a lot of interest yep. and a lot of players, and I know that the former lead singer of 30-odd full of grunts may still be involved with them okay. somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But credit to them. They did it. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's to get come back after a few years' hiatus and make the grand final is, yeah. is quite... Yeah. A, um, Considering like Will Gilger and a whole bunch of other clubs up there were doing quite well yeah, at the back end yep. of the year, they play. Let me have a look. South Grafton. Yeah, that'll be a ripper. Now you're a, you're a gross ghost man or a South Grafton Ooh, man? Gee. Well, I've been I've been to say I'm a ghost man, I otherwise I'm uncle will kill me. As much <laughs> the as family will kill me. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry, Paul's uncle, but I've got to say, as much as Aurora Valley attracts the attention, South Grafton have got a team in every yeah, it's grand a final. Massive effort. Yeah. So ladies league tag, under eighteens, reserve grade and first grade. Yeah. Which I'm like, look, doesn't how big or small your club is, yeah. doesn't how big your club is. Yep. That you can't just make that happen without a lot of hard work. Well, I mean it's the amazing thing about Grafton is they've got two real strong clubs yeah. in a small town. Yeah. Where some towns they can't even feel one. Yeah, so and whatever big, they big do towns. in whatever they do in Grafton, South Grafton and Grafton, yeah. they're, they're doing a great job. Yeah, doing fantastic. So that'll be another great grand final. Um, group four, bit of group four news. Just because I like to read this, you know, there's yeah. no vision. All this stuff, I'm like, God, get, get Bar TV out there, guys. We need you out there to see this stuff. Katingle uh, has reached the um, preliminary final yep. after beating Gunnada after a 45 meter field goal. Wow. To win the game, yep. so. Um, I just want to put that out there. I, I didn't write down the name of who kicked it, but that would have been yeah. a massive finish to the game. I think it was right on the bell kind of yeah, thing, like yeah, last minute. What are we going to do? Okay, have a yeah. crack. Uh, it must. I can just picture it in my head. It must be just gorgeous to, yeah. <laughs> to win a semi-final <laughs> yeah. that way. Um, and the Border League um, Grand Finals being yep. played. The Texas Terriers have won 20 points to 16 with Tenable, which is not a yeah. league I talk or think about too so, much. Um, yeah, so I think, remember Travis Burns? Yeah. yeah, I think he's got something to do with Texas. I oh, know he was a Texas junior. Yeah, right. And also Tenerfield Tigers, the the home of uh, Billy Moore. Right. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm going to say this. It, it, there'd be some history around all these Craig things, Stapleton's and you'd probably know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yes, Craig Stapleton's up yeah. there, and 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 there's doing a lot of great work for him. Yes. And ladies' league tag Tenerfield ten, Tenerfield one forty six nil against Stanthorpe. So yeah, okay. Good. That there are those competitions up there yeah. as well. There's good ladies' league tag. This ladies' league tag and ladies' rugby league is just booming yeah. everywhere. Like I remember it was only a couple of years ago, you felt like there were comps here and there and patches yep. everywhere now. So, uh, yeah, credit to them. That's awesome. kind of my around the groups. Yeah, well, I've got a few little tidbits. Uh, West Balls and Magpies, uh, local to the Newcastle area. they got the AGM on the 17th of October at the Holmesville Pub. So, uh, pretty nice. good feed out there too. So. Good, yeah, if you're just there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I've got nothing to do. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, if you want to get involved with the local footy club mm. in the uh, Newcastle area, why not Westy? Yeah. Uh, Maitland Pickers, they've already made the grand final of the Newcastle Rugby League. And yeah. they've got a bus... 45 bucks, that's your ticket into the ground. Yep. Also, the, the bus trip down, but they've got a couple of pickup points in Maitland. Yep. And you'll get uh, a lift back home if you get back on the bus. Oh, yeah, if you can walk straight. <laughs> yeah. There will yeah. be a little test as yeah. to whether you can. There may be 
bags and buckets for people that may need to be sick or, you know, lots of plans in place yeah. for people who have partied a bit hard. So well done to Maitland for organising that. Yeah, and, so, and, and get on it. Like, yeah. like, even if you're not a massive fan, why not? What, yeah. what, what, if you live up that way, because yeah. there's a few Ks from where the yep. game's been played. You know? Yep. And uh, we mentioned a few weeks ago about, uh, about reunions. Group 13 reunion. Um, Group 13 no longer exists, but they've mm. got a reunion on October the 8th at the Boomerang Hotel. So um, if you play Group 13 footy, maybe uh, head down. And it'll be a, a good afternoon night. Down yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And and we talked about how that's often where the stories and the... the, the um, this history stays alive, yeah. but then it can lead. I'm not saying Group 13 is going to come alive again, <laughs> yeah. but it can lead to conversations that lead to like, oh, we should get that club going, yeah, in, or let's yeah. get some, some, throw Absolutely. some money the juniors one. Yeah. And yeah. the Boomerang Hotel, a place yeah. I like to always go back to. Yeah. That's <laughs> one. <laughs> That's, Sorry. A, that's another good place. Uh, that's a good food too. Yeah, no, yeah. that's okay. I'll check it out. So I'll go schnitzel, a schnitzel tour of all these uh, great AGMs and reunions. Yeah. Um, a bit of an extended um, around the groups here. We've got a few more results from uh, other comps, so mm. um, we can both uh, have a crack at uh, reading some of these out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of border grand finals, it was the Murray Cup grand final down the other end, the Victorian New South Wales border. Uh, held in Glen Rowan for the first time with Donga Wombats 44 over, 42 4 over Bonjilla Gorillas nice. in the men's and in Ladies League Tag CSU 18 10 over Benella. So um, well done to Murray Cup and all those teams. Oh, the South Australian NRL. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. The Eels, which have been around forever. Yes. They're, they're yeah. one of the foundation South Australian clubs yep. I'll, I'll put out there. Uh, they went down to the Western Warriors 29 to 25, which is A weird scoring. The most <laughs> yeah. curious score I've ever seen. But yep. hey, if it was 22 all at one stage, I guess there probably would have been a few field goals on there. Yeah, things. it sounds like a, a cracker. Group 19, they had their grand final two last week. Uh, Narwan uh, defeated Maury Boomerangs 22 20 in first grade. In the ladies' league tag was Tinga, twelve over Warialda two. So um, yeah, that's all wound up there, and we've got a few more here. A few upcoming, yeah, yeah. upcoming grand finals. Looking, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm going to be the out of state man. The NRL yeah. Victoria grand yep. finals are uh, up ahead. Um, funny, there's like not the likely ones I thought, like Casey and that kind of stuff. Yep. Altona's made it, which is a very strong club there, and they're playing Truganina. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was Truganina or Truganina. Truganina. But yeah, it sounds like that. We'll just do the old hand Midnight take a guess. song. Yeah, Truganina. yeah. Anyway. yeah. Uh, and Sunbury and Sunshine. In the second grade, Sunbury and Sunshine play each other. Waverley Oakley, which is another big club, is hosting or playing in the third grade grand final against Truganina. Yep. And the women's league tag? Yeah, uh, women's tackle, yeah. Women's tackle, yeah. sorry. Uh, Werribee are playing Truganina. So Truganina are in three out of four, which yeah. is pretty impressive. It's, it's quite quite interesting down in Victoria. They've had women's tackle now for for a number of years. And, yeah. You know, it's sort of a and up, we're getting off country rugby league here, but they're yeah. talking about expansion of the women's game. I yeah. wonder if uh, Melbourne was actually considered to have a women's tackle yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And and that that's uh, with women's. I think the problem can be, and we are getting off the track a little bit, <laughs> but people assume that strong areas in men's league are going to be strong in women's and vice versa week and yeah. week whereas you look at the women's world cup and the brazilian rugby yeah. league team is going to have as good a shot as any yeah. to win yep. the comp and no one would think brazil at all but yeah. it's just that it's connected something's worked there there's some great workers making that happen yeah so yeah it's the same I, I agree i agree they need to look at it a bit more holistically or just separate themselves a little bit from the men's or something like that to say look if it's it's Interest and growth yeah. there, do it. Yep. Yeah. Could be an in focus in a few weeks. Yeah. NT Rugby League prelim finals. Palmerston v. Darwin Brothers, and the winner will play Northern Sharks in the grand right. final next week. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, it'd be nice to go to that grand final. Yeah. Especially with all the rain around here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, the Ipswich grand final. Brothers, a very, yep. very strong team. Ipswich have a long history and a lot of great players from there. Play the Swifts in first grade. Yeah. And Red Bank, another strong team. Uh, they're in the reserves uh, grand final. Play the Swifts as well. Yeah. All right, so they're around the groups that we don't really cover much on Bar TV Sports. So, um, yeah, we thought we'd give them a, a mention. Oh, Woodbridge Cup, that was a yeah. fun. Yeah, of- get them up there too when it wants to come up there. So Woodbridge, Woodbridge Cup Grand Final Day uh, kicks a gates open at nine. It's a big, big day. Um, yeah. At Lawson Park, Grenfell, uh, the Youth League Grand Final, Maylong Bulls v uh, the Grenfell Goennas. Uh, ladies League tag is uh, Minolda Rhinos v Grenfell Goennas. And first grade, which kicks off about 2.30, is Minolda Rhinos v Aberon Tigers. Yeah, and yeah. depending on how you, what side of it you look at it, 
the Woodbridge Cup is much stronger this year because the Midwest Cup merged yeah. with it. I mean, others say oh, it's a bit sad because the Midwest Cup has merged with it. But it's a strong comp. Well, that's know? it. Oberon Tigers would have come from the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so it's been a, a, a... I mean, mergers can be a little bit whatever, but yep. um, hopefully it gives that comp a little... You know, like it's quite a quite a yeah. strong comp at the moment, yep. so it's fantastic. Yep, awesome, mate. Um, that's around the groups, and we can get into the fixtures this weekend, wrap it up, and yeah. uh, sit back and watch some footy. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, it is the NRRRL Grand Finals, as we said, this Sunday at uh, Balamble. Um, if you can't get to Balamble, uh, watch it on Bar TV hell Sports. Yeah. How we doing? Four grades. Uh, Ladies League take the day off. Lismore Morris Brothers v Cudgeon. 18s is Cudgeon v Ballina. Reserve grade Cudgeon v mm-hmm. Willembar. And uh, first grade is Balamble v Evans Head. Yeah, there'll be a cracker of a game, really. Yeah. Like Evans Head, geez, they're not quite giant killers, but you know, they've, yeah. got everyone, they've knocked a few out already. Uh, yeah. Illawarra Grand Final. Now, West and Collies are the first grade Grand Final, which would be a cracker of a game. Uh, first division is our Avondale versus Collies. Go the Greyhounds. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. Sorry. I'll let you <laughs> get that out there. Uh, second division, Berkeley are playing Norths, and under 18s, Dapto are playing Thoreau on the Sunday. So it'll be the day yeah. after, I guess, they couldn't jam all those games in. Yeah, so the juniors, normally the juniors play separate. So on Bar TV, they do have uh, all the junior grand finals, 18s down below. They've had them the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, if you want to uh, check out them, you can as well. And no, and no in the end, just, just, just a point of reference, there's none of the, uh, the no. Coronella carrying bar or anything like that. They were all last week, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so in, the, in the end, Illawarra is sort of the same grand final as you, you know, we've seen in previous years or other years, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, not West Collies, yeah, they've been there a couple of times too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a ripper. Yeah. Canberra Rugby League is Tuggeranong v Queanbeyan Blues on the Saturday. Um, and then you've got, uh, the, that's an elimination one, that one. Then on Sunday, West Belconnen host Woden Valley. The winner of that goes into the grand final. Yeah. yeah. The Group 7, is it the same? Are these qualifying finals, so it's for the grand final, or are we still a week away from that? Um, so this is a top five in Group 7. Yeah, okay. So Stingrays v Kaimer is your elimination. Yeah. And Warilla v Jamboree. Jamboree. That, that The winner of that will take on Jaringong. Yeah, the yeah. loser gets a week, uh, another chance. Yeah, we'll play. Yeah, the winner of Stingrays. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah. I mean, and who's to say? It's one of those situations, the top five, maybe Warilla Jamboree is the precursor to the actual Warilla Jamboree grand final, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Big. Well, look out for the Stingrays. I, I think, you know, yeah. Kaima might do a number on them this well, weekend now that I've said that. Kaima's that's form like, has been a bit patchy at the yeah. back end, which is, uh, yeah, unfortunate yeah. considering how, how they started the year. But anyway. Yeah. Newcastle Rugby League prelim final. Uh, Macquarie hosts Cessnock. Uh, the winner takes on Maitland at Hunter Stadium next week. Yeah. yeah. Cracker of a game that will be. Uh, look, week two of the semis at the Gold Coast, Burley take on Southport, which will be a stinger of a game. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Tugan play Runaway Bay, which will still yeah. be another really good one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kiwana, uh, yeah, Kiwana take on Beerway in the Sunshine Coast prelim final. So um, the winner of that will take on Maruchi Dor in the big GF up there. Yeah, and Group 9 finals, uh, Tamora are playing Tumut. Uh, in the elimination final. So this is, uh, you know, this is it for yep. them. And a Gunda guy playing young in the qualifying final. So that'll be uh, a, a couple of good matchups. Yeah. Uh, apparently there is a stream available for one of these. Now, these aren't on Bar TV, I must stress. They're, yeah. Um, they do their own thing down there. But if you want to catch them, well, then just go to the Group 9 Facebook page. That's yeah, have the, a look. Uh, the best bit. Yeah. Group 20, West Wyalong, they uh, host Griffith. That's the elimination final. And then on Sunday, Darlington Point take on Leeton. That's the qualifying final. Yeah, and Group 21, it's only Father's Day that stopped me from getting there, unfortunately. I'm yeah. I'm very keen to go. Yeah. But, and, but for those around who have a father that loves their footy, Yep. Um, grand final group all of any of these games I guess but grand final group 21 Scone versus Denman which will be a cracker yep uh, you know a bit of the history of that <laughs> comp up there and I'd say they're both two teams that have uh, probably punched it out and yep. fought it out over the years part of the longest those two teams part of the longest grand final they were the two ever. they yep. were the two that's what I was wondering yep. I didn't want to quite say it until I was sure but they were the two I thought it was Aberdeen but uh, and reserves uh, Scone play Aberdeen yep um, Aberdeen Tigers so yeah that'll, yeah. Be, that'll be a really interesting game I mean what if it goes to extra time will everyone just go oh my god <laughs> here we go <laughs> not again, again. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no that'll, that's that got a lot of history to it yeah. the rich history there'll be people up there that remember that game yep uh, kick off with ladies league tag to Scone v single. Yeah. But as, as you mentioned, Father's Day, look, honestly, Scone Rugby League Ground, I think you might have mentioned this a thousand yeah, times, yeah, they have yeah. the best steak sandwich oh, I've ever had. So, there you go. 
Yeah, if you're looking for something to do uh, yeah. on Father's Day, take your take your father to Scone Park yeah. for the Group Twenty One Green Final. And even even, but don't tell him yeah. where you're going and say, yeah. "I'm going to give you the best steak sandwich yeah. you've ever had." Best and lunch he's like, time. He's looking around, <laughs> thinking, "What restaurant? Where are we? Is it somewhere fancy?" Yeah. And they'll get to Scone and go, "Even better. Yeah. And there's a game of footy as well. <laughs> Why don't you tell me that?" <laughs> That's fantastic. I yeah. want to go. Now I want to go and try it. I'm not even going to be anywhere near there. Can they send one to me? Anyway, I probably would. Yeah, <laughs> send one. Give, give me a. If you get up there, give me one. I'll eat it. I'll eat it on the next show. Yeah, brilliant. Awesome. Done. Well, we're done and dusted here too, yeah, mate. Bring uh, it on. Anything else you like that or? Uh, no. Good? I mean, what else is there to say? There's just almost too much. I mean, like I said, that N Triple R Grand Final. I've been yeah. looking forward to for weeks because it's really. Interesting comp up there. Yeah. It's pretty pretty tight. Blamber looks strong, but geez, there's been some. Um, Evans head I would have, wouldn't have predicted to get there, no. but geez, a lot of other contenders I thought were going to get there. So um, well, even Blamble, um, like no disrespect to them, yeah. but um, yeah, a few years ago they ran dead last in the Gold Coast comp. Yeah, moved into N Triple R L. Yeah, and they gradually gotten better and better every year. So um, it's going to be a cracker. Plenty of points, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon yeah. so too. Yeah. And Evans head do. Do score some amazing tries. I remember over the <laughs> yeah. over the past year at least, I've seen some of the length of the field stuff from yeah. fantastic. All right, let's get out of here. Country yep. Rugby League show done and dusted. Paul Arenal, Jess Stevenson signing out. So we'll be back uh, next week. We'll yep. catch you then. See you then.